All right, welcome. I'm Kaylee and I have Shalimar here with me who was on our last round of Academy of Yogic Sleep. Um, and Shalimar is in corporate development and leadership and she is on a path of enlightenment, those words coming from her own mouth. Yes. Um, and so she joined us for Academy of Yogic Sleep. And Shalimar, I want people to um, you know, hear from your perspective about AOIS because I know you have a unique perspective and you were the scholarship participant. You, um, you won our full ride scholarship, which is a big deal. And, um, and you were there and you showed up and you contributed and you were a big part of our experience collectively. So um, I wanna ask, you know, what was the most impactful thing for you or, or was there a specific example of a breakthrough that happened as a part of AOIS and being with us? Yes. Uh, first and foremost, thank you for the program and thank you for the scholarship. That's so awesome. Um, I promised you that I wouldn't waste it and I'm not you did going not. <laughs> I'm glad that I showed up. <laughs> um, I definitely think the most impactful or what stood out for me the most was I had every intention on taking this training so that I could become a teacher and share this practice with others because of the way that it affected my life. I had no idea that this was going to become such a personal practice for myself. Um, and as much as I tried to focus on how I was going to facilitate this for others, I couldn't help but to, to relish in my own growth and my own experience that was happening at the exact same time, mm -hmm. only to find out that probably the best way to teach is to experience, you know, these things that we're learning. So um, it was just really profound, uh, the entire program in that respect. Mm, yeah. Coming for the the skill and the skill set and then realizing that it was a, a very personal learning opportunity as well. Leaving with an open heart. <laughs> mm -hmm, that's right. Open heart for sure. Yeah. I remember at one point in the course, there was some um, like resistance for you, right? It was kind of like a resistance around the traditional um, ways of, you know, learning meditation that you had already studied and the the new sort of more, more modern, um, you know, ways with which we were introducing things at AOIS. Do you remember sort of coming up against that conflict in, in the course and, and how you moved through that? I do. I remember telling myself, like, you can't teach an old dog new tricks, which I don't know why my mind kept saying that. Completely investigated that in a nidra, by the way. Um, but really, I think it was just this personal block that I was experiencing. Um, and it wasn't really anything that existed, if that makes any sense. Um, while I was practicing Nitra, I was able to realize that I was putting these limitations and ceilings on myself and like blocking my own creativity. Mm -hmm. Um, and as we grew um, with the program, but then as we got deeper into the program, I was able to see how things work together. And that is what unlocked my creativity. So Yoga Nidra and the program that we had at Academy of Yogic Sleep actually mirrored what I was already doing, um, if not made my traditional practice even better um so much that i'm like taking my traditional practice and a lot of the steps from that and turning them into nidras <laughs> so i don't know it just all of a sudden all these ideas came about and now i'm just like let's just do it all <laughs> i love that and i love that you're talking about creativity and you've got this massive pink tiger behind you <laughs> yeah it's perfect Shout out to Isaac. <laughs> that's right <laughs> made it. i didn't yeah know. Awesome. What do you think was the the most valuable thing about the course for you? The 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 knowledge that you gleaned from it, or perhaps an an experience that you had with an AOIS. What was the thing that for you was the most valuable? Yeah, um, it was finding my voice, mm -hmm. and of course finding my sankalpa. But I have this new preparatory statement, which is soften, slow down, and this is not a show. Um, and we know that like I can be Miss Presenter. You know, I'm used to leading pre presentations, you know, in a corporate environment or in other situations that you have like this certain cadence and a certain presence in your delivery. And that was kind of bleeding into my nidras and my meditations. 
But with you, it was like the way that you provided the feedback to me, I was able to take it. It was so true. It was like so raw, but it was delivered so lovingly that I was like, yeah, you're right. Like you're 100% right. And then you would make me back that up. Did you listen to what you delivered? You know, like, and so I, and I always did, but you would point out things that I would have never even seen. Um, and I was having such a hard time finding my voice. Um, you believed that there's a message inside of my heart that needs to come out, but I was having a hard time releasing that. And we had a, a course, uh, which you were so kind. Um, I take a lot of online programs and they don't come with that face-to-face, -face, you know, time that we get to spend together, like a couple of hours, like every single week I'm seeing you. Um, and, and that's not normal in a program. So to have that live feedback from you, for you to get to know us, to know that I was struggling with this, this part of my voice and, you know, you said all the right things and I'm not going to say, I can remember one thing. I'm not going to say it. It was so awesome. It was so funny. Um, and I think everybody needs to hear their thing from you, um, <laughs> but it really was like a confidence builder. And I just feel like if you have a teacher that can provide that constructive criticism and at the same time, like gas you up and build your confidence and like bring a sense of clarity to the blockage, just a mere blockage that I wasn't seeing um, and needed that insight. That was probably the most valuable. I would spend all my money, honestly, to to have someone be able to look at me and say that, you know, just to say what you said, like, fuck that, you do you. And that's not exactly what you said. And you're not, you know, you weren't trying to get me to put bad energy out there, but it was more or less just like, you've got something, like you've got a gift and you can deliver it and just like let go of all that stuff that's stopping you. And then I practiced that because what do I have to lose? And I practice that every day. You know, I let it spill into my presentations. I just had a meeting about something else that I'm going to be a part of here in the future. And I found myself saying that I'm going to soften, slow down, and um, this is not a show. So this has become like, this mantra for me to remind me how to show up. Mm, I love that so much. I remember that moment. I'm trying to recall the exact words I used, but I remember what you're talking about specifically. Right. <laughs> it was awesome. Mm, all right, my love. Well, this is my last question. What would you say to someone who's considering joining AOIS and is on the fence and has questions? What are some of the things that you might share with them about this program, about your experience that might kind of tip them over the edge? Absolutely. Um, first and foremost, yoga nidra is a practice that I think is for anyone. Um, it's for the sleepy. It's for the awake. Uh, it's great for people like me who have, you know, you're going, going, going all day long, job, family, and it's hard to, to tune out and get quiet. So you can even get to that meditative space that you need to get to in order to be able to work through emotions and problems. So this program provided like the best platform and for the amount of time that you gave us, you gave us like a lot of time. Um, I think three months was like really, really great to, to move through each individual step. Um, so the practice within itself and the way that you were able to put together the content for us, um, absolutely incredible. I was able to understand it. All of the activities, all of the exercises were perfect. Um, I joined this program with a bunch of strangers we are all friends. We actually created our own little side group that Kaylee's not a part of, but that's okay because she's busy, but <laughs> wanted for us. Like she, like, like you didn't keep us separate. Like you brought us together. You put us together in like small groups. We work together. Um, and now we're helping each other afterwards you know we're I think our first meetup together is going to be next week so we're so excited to come together to help each other grow with our businesses we're all friends like on social media and supporting each other so I gained this extra family in this community there was just so much to gain um I definitely feel like the work like I didn't 
I didn't work as, as hard as for the return on the investment that I'm getting. I worked hard, but like, I feel like I'm just walking away with so much more. Um, and that's awesome. <laughs> like it to, to feel that way, you know, like I got this, I got this, I feel this way. Um, it's just a really great experience. And I hope that everyone who's considering it just stops thinking about it and they just sign up and give it a chance because it, it was really one of the best experiences I've ever had. Mm. I'm so happy to hear that. Thank you yeah. so much for sharing and for sharing with everyone else listening. And I'm sure that your experience will speak to a lot of people. So thank you for being here. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. All right. I'm going to press stop record now. Okay. See you guys later. <laughs>